Hello, it's Jimmy Heard already, and I have here today a new tool we can have a look at. It's the X431 Euro Tab 3 from launch. So we'll get open the box. And we have a big plastic case inside. We're going to get that out. Okay, here we have it. Let's get it down and open it up. Got a couple of little red clips here on the front. So it's got a top section and a lower section there. You can see there inside it's got some instructions, user guide there, and a user manual. Scope, so it's a scope box. But we won't need these, I'm pretty sure. Should know how to use one of these by now. I've got the Eurotab 2. So let's get our hand under here and take off the uh, protective cover. So we have here some fittings for older type Mercedes and BMW. And we have here the smart link box. Alright, let's open up the uh, Velcro straps here and we'll get the main unit out. Turn off that flash there so it's uh, not blinding us. So you can see there's quite a big unit. It's quite thick, it's quite heavy, and it is a massive screen compared to some tablets. On the side here we've got waterproof buttons, so you can see DC input, they're all sealed watertight uh, tabs on them there, so you can uh, keep it watertight, so you can close them and open them. Let's try and get one open, I've got very short nails, so it might not be possible. So they're quite stiff, so it turns out it looks like I'm going to need uh, something to open those up soon. But anyway, so DC input, uh, I'm sure maybe it's on and off button in there. SD card button or HD uh, lead in there and if we flip it over the other side we have volume keys and it's on and off button so let's press the button and switch it on take it we'll have to hold it down for a few seconds there we go and we should load up uh, this does come with uh, two years warranty peel off the mask application 2 is completed I'm not sure what that means, but let's uh, let's peel it off. Okay, it's loaded up, so we can see there it's already got the time and date already set in it. Um, so it's a, this is the first time I've opened it, but somehow it's already been set. So let's have a look at what we're looking at. Uh, system updates, team viewer, quick support. You got Google Chrome. You can watch YouTube on this. Same as uh, I've you can do on my um, my Eurotab two. Uh, so oh, let's have a look. Go into the diagnostic application here for the Euro three. Got intelligent diagnose, local diagnose, service functions. Let's have a look in there. You got brake resets, oil maintenance, steering angle, battery matching, ABS bleeding, electronic throttle relearns, TPMS, DPF regens. AC system initialize adaptive front lighting, add blue resets, air fuel resets, air level calibration, clutch matching, coolant bleeding, crank position sensor adaptions, ECU resets, EGR adaptions, engine pa power balance monitoring, FRM matching, gas particulate filter regeneration. This is going to be one of the newer things in the uh, petrol cars now. I think they're, they're fitting these particulate filters to them. Gateway module, gearbox learn, high voltage batteries, so, so I'll take it as for EVs. Immobilizer programming, you can add all sorts of add-ons to this. I uh, had a little read about it before I got it, of course. You can add an uh, immobilizer uh, unit to it like that for programming keys. I'll just turn back on the light there, it's a little bit dark. Uh, immobilizer reset injector coding, intelligent cruise systems, language, motor calibration angle, Knock sensor resets, rainfall sensors, so basically anything that's controlled electronically on the car, you can control it. Uh, what else have we got? Technical library, more. 
Lords Cloud Tablet Settings Online Shop Social Media ADAS is not something I've got into yet but uh, maybe sometime in the future uh, it's advanced driver assistance settings uh, something like that some sort toolbox we should have the same stuff in here so you got these are the add-ons that you can use uh, for it oscilloscope sensor box BST 360 battery tester which I've got and the video scape scope I've got uh, TPMS I think some of that comes with this immobilizer programming and cat 601 I'm not even sure what that one is Oh, that's the I think this is the automatic gearbox uh, flusher so something to do with that you must be able to connect that up to the vehicle somehow remote you got remote diag again it's not something I've ever really got into even though it's quite a handy thing I should probably look into it but uh, I've always been so busy just working I've never really paid attention to getting into any of this stuff but uh, if anyone else is on it uh, please feel free to let me know and you can comment down below there um, just to give anyone else some advice on this stuff that I don't really get into so this remote stuff um, if you've used it let us know technical library vehicle coverage let's go to intelligent diagnose oh, well we're not connected to a vehicle so it's not going to work so let's uh, let's cut that off Should we slide it up go back and let's have a look inside the case and see what else we have in there before we look inside the case actually just one thing I'd like to mention on these what I did notice what I did like very much on my tab 2 was this stand when you pull it out it's quite stiff and it's quite a good it's quite a good stand because when you move it out it's stiff it stays there so when I put that on the steering wheel it holds you know if your steering wheel is skinny you can close it down so it bites against it more if you got a thicker steering or you want to hold the tablet at a different angle you can move this arm the leg and um, it'll stay wherever you put it basically um, on some of the other tablets I've got this just sort of flaps around um, and it's, it's just not very good at holding the tablet these ones it's very sturdy holds the tablet nice and steady so I've just had to lay it down flat because it's gonna fall over if I don't so we'll open these four little tabs here open this side first Let's have a look what we got. Uh, TPMS controller. This is something I'm going to have to do a little bit of learning about. Um, probably won't use it that much because I don't I don't have a tire machine uh, and I don't get in, really involved with tires. Different cables. Let's have a look what else we got in here. Crocodile clips and some some other adapters there for uh looks like they are for hmm must be able to add a multimeter sitting on there somewhere some sort of different types of chargers in-car chargers and ones you can to hook up to a battery Okay, let's move over to the other side. Open that up. What have we got in here? TPMS sensor. Looks like we've got four of those. Open the Velcro straps. And again, another ex uh, instruction book for the TPMS wand. That's what it's called, a wand. Launch. That's the scope box, I take it. Again here, more cables. I think this is all sort of TPMS related stuff here for tire pressure monitoring. So let's get it plugged into a vehicle here and we'll see what it looks like. So the smart link here has just been plugged in and it's loaded up. So this is what I'm looking at. This is the first time I've ever looked at this sort of uh, type of smart link here. So uh, I'm not really too sure exactly how it works, but it says it's all ready to go. So let's load it up. Okay, 
we'll open up the diagnostic uh, menu there. So we've got intelligent diagnose, local diagnose, intelligent diagnose that you need Wi-Fi connection for it. So uh, let's go straight to that one. Let's see how long that takes to connect to the VCI. This is the first time now I'm connecting it, so maybe longer than usual. And I can hear it beeping there. Yes, it's a Volvo. Um, we shall press a smart detection. That'll just run through everything. So you got two different types of uh, systems to, or looks or whatever you like to call it. You can use this topology system or you can switch up there to a system list which just gives you a list of like the engine module the brakes, the control, the power steering, traction control modules, all that sort of thing in, in a list rather than in this topology uh, view. So let's go to the codes and see what we got. So it looks like it's got an issue with the battery there. Signal message interruption from the signal invalid. Interrupted communication with the climate control module, so it may be a battery. DIM unidentified, so I'm not sure what that is. Everything else is green. Oh, we've got some more down here. Again, signal failures. Signal failure. So this is what I'm saying about the topology versus the normal sort of uh, standard system that you see on most sort of uh, diagnostic scan tools. So it just depends what, what sort of look you prefer. So let's go into the engine control module here. See if there's any codes. We've got none. And um, we can press back just down here. Data stream. What you'd expect from most sort of decent range scan tools. You can, you got all this sort of stuff that you can look through. Now that data stream is just for most of the stuff that's in, in that section of the ECM there. So if you go to somewhere else like uh, traction control, you'll see different live data. So data stream, again here you got all sorts of different stuff related to the traction control, the wheels, the gears basically. So for the automatic gearbox you can go to special function and you got these sort of options here, reset adaptions, gear position, calibration. Replace the oil because the shift is not smooth. Read out the transmission oil temperature. So we'll go back out of there. So if you want to see some other videos, I've got these. Uh, well, I haven't done a video on the oscilloscope yet or the sensor box there. I've got one on the BSC 360 battery tester, and I'm sure I've got one on the video scope. If not, I can get one of those uploaded. I've got those items. Um, all of this stuff. Maybe in the future we can add them on. So here is just a little quick comparison in the size difference from the launch Eurotab 2. This is my old unit and this is the new one, considerably bigger. Um, that's if we stand them up side by side. A little bit thicker, a little bit taller, the screen's a bit bigger. Uh, I haven't got anything to measure the screen but I'd say it's maybe uh, 10. 10 or 11 inch screen, this one's maybe like an 8. So I've got that now in the van and uh, we'll be doing plenty more videos using that. Um, so if you want to see more of it, we'll be doing, I'm sure, plenty of videos over the next few weeks and we'll uh, 
be using this for the diagnostic process. So that's a little, just a quick demonstration of it here. Uh, I'm not going into too much detail about a lot of this other sort of stuff. It's got the remote diag on it, which I've not used yet. ADAS, and yeah. So we'll we'll uh, we'll add more videos of it over time. See you in our next videos.